Both YouTube and Sniper Wolf have responded to the whole drama that's been going on recently. For those of you who don't know what's been going on, I mean, YouTuber talked shit about YouTuber for stealing content. YouTuber got mad and then doxed other YouTuber. YouTuber got lots of backlash for that. And now it's gotten to a point where both YouTube and Sniper Wolf have both responded to the whole crazy drama that's been going on. But before I get into that, let me talk about something that genuinely interests me more. That beautiful fucking Islam Makachev finish at UFC 294, but you little rats don't care about that. You you want your dopamine brains connected to this pointless fucking drama, so uh, let's give you that. Alright, first off, let's talk about YouTube's response to the whole thing, because I mean, goddamn, we might as well just call them the new Twitch support at this point, because it has never been more clear that certain creators get special treatment from them than right now. So what Sniper Wolf ended up doing is she straight up doxed another YouTuber, which is directly against YouTube's terms of service, and technically it should have resulted in her whole channel being terminated, but obviously YouTube doesn't want to terminate one of their biggest cash cows. So here's what they ended up responding with. Confirming Sniper Wolf has received a temporary monetization suspension per creator responsibility policies. Off-platform actions that put others' personal safety at risk, harm our community, and the behavior on both sides isn't what we want on YouTube. Hoping everyone helps move this convo to a better place. Yeah, I'm absolutely positive that multi-millionaire Sniper Wolf is absolutely shivering and worrying that she's gonna lose it all because she got probably like a one-week suspension from getting ads on her videos. Like, not even a strike, they straight up just said, you know what, um, we like you too much for that, so we're just, yep, yeah, just a little bit of an ad break right there. Don't worry, Queen Sniper Wolf, we're only doing this so that we don't get too much backlash, we'll get you back up and running, and you'll continue making millions. And very suspiciously, Sniper Wolf ended up posting a response on the very same day as YouTube, with this chat GBT ass apology saying, Let me start by saying I'm sorry for my recent actions. It is inexcusable. I'm sorry to Jax Film, YouTube, the entire creator community. Yeah, you guys basically get it. It's a cookie cutter uh, apology that was probably made in chat GBT. And obviously this apology didn't really go over too well with the whole wider community, because it came off as a little bit insincere, and many people could obviously tell that this was probably not written by herself, it was either written by her incompetent PR team or ChatGBT. One of the two. Now, my guess about what happened is that Sniper Wolf or Sniper Wolf and her team, they both reached a plea deal with YouTube saying, okay, here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna release this cookie cutter ass apology. We're gonna temporarily turn off your monetization and hopefully that manages to get the heat off from both of us. So it was pretty much a win-win between the two of them. YouTube got to keep their cash cow and Sniper Wolf also got to stay on the platform with pretty much no consequences at all other than probably a week or two of missed out revenue. So, I mean, are y'all really surprised? I've been seeing quite a lot of outrage about this. People are absolutely shocked that something like this happened and Sniper Wolf managed to get off basically scot-free. Like, what did you motherfuckers expect? She makes so much money for YouTube, they're not just gonna terminate her over something like this. Once you have a certain amount of influence over the YouTube community, they kinda tend to go a little bit easier on you. Is it fair? Absolutely fucking not, but I mean, that's just how the world works. Like, let's say the YouTuber Mr. Beast, he did some crazy shit one day. Let's say he robbed a 7-Eleven and held the cashier at gunpoint, and it was all over the news. And you had a bunch of people on Twitter saying, remove his channel, this is terrible off-platform activity. Do you think YouTube is genuinely going to terminate his channel? The man could pull an EDP, and he would probably still have a pretty good chance of keeping his channel. And why is that? It's because he makes the platform a bunch of money, which is the exact same case with Sniper Wolf. Obviously, probably not to the same magnitude as someone like Mr. Beast, but definitely a pretty good chunk of YouTube's ad revenue. It would make absolutely no sense from a business standpoint to cut off that revenue source just because a bunch of people on Twitter are complaining that she docks someone. They're willing to accept that it probably won't look too good for their reputation as a platform, but let's be completely honest here, this whole doxing situation between Jax Films and Sniper Wolf, it may get a little bit more more coverage in the media, but it's probably going to die down within a month, let's be completely honest here. So yeah, it's confirmed that YouTube is actively protecting a doxer, not much we can do about that. There is, however, one solution. Let's get fucking obliterated. <laughs> uh. 
that that was a joke. I didn't actually hit the Benjamin just now. I, I kind of want to, not gonna lie, but gotta keep a professional. Can't be faded than a hoe while I'm making a video. That's only for nighttime. Anyway, the bottom line is we're probably going to be seeing a lot more of this whole favoritism thing from YouTube. This is only just the beginning. Notice how both parties wanted to keep their responses very low-key. Notice how Sniper Wolf didn't make a video on her main channel. She just posted a tweet and then went on with her day. Same with YouTube. They responded to the whole thing with a reply tweet. That was done very deliberately as to protect both of their reputations as much as possible. Because let's say that Sniper Wolf actually made like a whole 10 minute video apologizing for this. We all know that historically apology videos on YouTube, they don't tend to really resonate too well with the audience. So they both made their basic responses and moved on like absolutely nothing happened. They want this drama to be over with as soon as possible so they can all sweep this whole thing under the rug. Now the most logical thing to do in this situation is we as a whole YouTube community we need to coordinate a very important plan to infiltrate the YouTube headquarters and get some very important intel or whatever and then we're gonna hold it ransom on them until they uh terminate sniper wolf i mean to me personally that sounds like the most logical thing to do in this situation that was a joke in case any youtube employees are watching please for the love of god let me keep my channel and make a joke thank you that would be very much appreciated in all seriousness though youtube not even giving sniper wolf a strike on her channel and instead just temporarily demonetizing her after she's been exposed for doxing another youtuber as well as having old videos of her sexualizing minors resurfacing Come on, let's go. Let's go. Get your mom in here. Let her talk too. Yeah, yeah, your son's doing all this for tits. Is genuinely insane. If this was almost any other YouTuber, they would face much more serious consequences than just getting a temporary monetization suspension. But it's obvious YouTube doesn't care about holding all their creators accountable, and it doesn't really seem like that's gonna be changing anytime soon. So yeah, I guess Sniper Wolf came out with the win. She got off pretty much scot-free. She could probably dox another YouTuber the very next week, and nobody could really do too much about it, so thank you, YouTube. Thank you for being a safe platform where every creator is treated with the same level of equality. It's good to know that you care about the safety of your creators as well as making as much money as possible. It's also great to know that if I have three S's in my username and I have a pair of big tits, that I'm pretty much getting off scot-free no matter what I do. Thank you. I'll type it. Uh, um, I can't even do that. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Let's go. Get your mom in here. Let her talk to you. Yeah, yeah, your son's doing all this for tits.